Hi everyone, my name is Nick and in today's video we're going to take a look at how to convert an image into an Excel table. This is actually a super easy and fun way to take an image and convert it into an Excel table uh, using uh, your mobile phone. Um, if you find this video useful then you know what to do. Uh, and with that said, let's first of all hop over to the iPhone and show you how to go about doing this. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do is um, head on over to the App Store. And um, from the App Store, we're going to search for an app called Office. Okay, and we're just going to search for Office. Um, and the app that you'll want is called Microsoft Office and it will look just like this. Um, I already have this installed, um, so I can just go ahead and click Open. Okay, with that open, um, what I'm now able to do is see obviously all of the various different files that are inside my OneDrive here. Um, but what I want to do is at the bottom right hand corner, there's something called Actions. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Actions. Um, and that's going to then load up this screen where you have various different things that you're able to do, such as transfer files, um, send an image to text. Um, so extract all text from an image, for example, um, extract um, information from a table of a picture uh, into Excel, which is the one that we're going to use, and a whole host of other different functions here, such as scanning QR codes, creating Microsoft Forms, or signing and scanning PDFs, etc. Okay, but for this example, we're going to go and use the image to table function. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And then from here, um, I've already got an image taken, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on the image that I already have here. And then I'm going to adjust, uh, using the four corners of the screen here, I'm just going to adjust the um, corners here so I can bring in the data ranges uh, of this image. I don't need the blank column, so I'm just going to pull this in as well uh, and make sure that that gets captured over here. So ultimately I have four columns in this picture. Um, we have obviously the last name, the sales, the country and the quarter. Um, once you are happy that you've got all of the data that you would like captured inside the little window, you can go ahead and click confirm. That's then going to go ahead and extract all the data out of that image um, and then go ahead and show you some uh, potential issues that it's picking up on and it will show you how it will look in here as well. Okay, so um, the last column here obviously hasn't quite picked up on the additional line splitting the two values, um, but actually, you know, it's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and click on open and it says eight items need review. So I can go ahead and click on the review button and it will basically then, you know, tell me what are the, what the issues are, right? Um, I can ignore anything that doesn't look right uh, or, you know, might need to be changed. So that's actually quarter four, for example, done there. Quarter two is fine. Uh, Jones and Brown, it should be two different rows, but I'll sort that out once that's in Excel. My main thing is I would like to get the majority of the data across there. And the problem I have here is mainly uh, these issues are down to the fact that it is a low quality image um, more than anything else. But um, if you want to spend some time making sure you get the right image, uh, it will convert it into an Excel document for you just like this. Um, so with that done, I'm able to um, save the document. I'm going to save that into my OneDrive here and I'm just going to call this uh, image to table. Okay, and I'm going to click done and then save that into my OneDrive. With that done, I'll now leave my phone um, and head over to the desktop here. So if I go ahead and click on the desktop, I'm inside my um, Excel here, but I'm just going to uh, scooch on over to, if I can find it, my uh, office.com, okay? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into my documents of my OneDrive. Here we can see the, ta the new Excel document I've just created, which is called image to table. And I'm going to go ahead and open that. Now I can obviously open this up in the desktop application as well, directly from um, here. I can go to file and I can go open and then I can go and find uh, the correct SharePoint location, etc. But for now, I'm just going to utilize 
uh, the web version because yeah, that would be a little bit more efficient for this video. Okay, so now we have all of this text um, or all this data in Excel from the image. Now it's not 100% perfect, um, but it's going to get you about 90% of the way there. Okay, and then you can go ahead and edit this a little bit further. So straight away we can see that it hasn't pulled it in, didn't pull in the line between uh, country and quarter. So um, if I just cut out uh, the quarter and put that over here, and splitting that into two columns. Now we have got the um, this should be two rows, obviously we'll sort that out and that should be two rows as well. But um, we first of all have to sort out the country. So the country is relatively uh, easy. We're just going to go and use the equals find function. Um, and we're going to find in this text here, uh, the space. Okay. And then we're going to find it within this text. Um, sorry, I did that the wrong way around. Um, it should be find the um, space within that text. Um, and the other part is optional. I'm not going to require that. So now I can see that it starts at the 11th, uh, which means I can just go ahead and plus one to that um, and then do a mid function here. Um, and I'm just going to do the text is that my start number is the find function. And I'm going to just do that for, uh, well, we know it's no more than three characters. So I'm just going to go ahead and put three characters in there and close it off. And now I have the country just being pulled in here. Um, so I can go ahead and pull those down. Now, the um, other thing here is I can then just go ahead and copy these locations uh, and paste them in as values and that's done. And then from this side, all I have to do is do a control find. And uh, what am I going to find? Uh, I want actually want to do a replace. I'm going to find anything that is uh, a space UK and I'm going to replace that with nothing. And I'm just going to replace all those and get rid of that. And then I'm going to do the same for the USA and I'm going to replace all of those and they're gone. Now um, I am going to also find any just a space and replace those, make sure there's nothing there. Um, and that is fine. Now there's one manual one here. Uh, this UK has to go um, I'm going to enter that, right? So now we need to split these into a couple of additional rows. So I'm just going to grab these and pull them down one row. Um, and then I'm going to, for ease of this, just kind of type this out as brown. Um, and then I'm going to type the dollars here of 4865. Um, and then a USA as well. And then I can go into this, uh, this little bar here and remove the um, numbers that I no longer need. Okay, I can just get rid of brown. Um, and then we can see that this is actually quarter four. So I'm just going to go ahead and type quarter four into there. Um, remove that bit too fast with my fingers. And then I'm going to go down and delete out a quarter four from there. So now we end up with this. Uh, this I can format paint, so it makes it the same format as those. And again, I'm just going to do the last one here. Um, so Smith uh, should be down here uh, with $9,698. Uh, we'll go to the USA and um, just make check to make sure that, that is definitely yeah, just the USA. And then we're going to go quarter one at the bottom there. And then we're going to just remove that quarter one from here. So now I have converted that image um, successfully over into an Excel table there. Um, and I will just want to make sure that um, they are treated as numbers and not as anything else. And I'll format that over. So it, um, it takes a little bit of time if there are a lot of missing data, if there's a lot of missing data um, in your image. So it's better to spend the time to make sure you get a good quality in, um, image over um, speed in that regard, because you will have to tidy up the data a little bit in Excel. Um, but it is pretty easy and quick to do. Um, so this took me uh, merely a couple of minutes to capture all of that information and just correct it inside Excel here. Um, so it is well worth um, learning how to utilize the function of image to um, table um, because it really does help speed things up when it comes to uh, data gathering. Hopefully guys, you found this video useful. If you did, then you know what to do. Um, and with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.